Hi everyone, it's Lucy from My Crazy Craft Life and today I'm here with a design team post for Fairy Stamper. Today I'm going to be making this card and I will be using Birthday Wishes Stamp, Meadows Buttercup, and Meadow Sparkle Paper Pad, 6x6 Paper Pad, all from Fairy Stamper. So I'm going to decide on which paper I want and then I am going to cut down a 100 pound piece of black cardstock to five and a half inches I'm sorry to yeah five and a half inches because I am going to be making a five and a half inch square card so I'll fold that up and have it ready and then I'm going to cut down the pattern paper to about five and a quarter inches so that I can have a little bit of border around the card. And then I'm going to start placing my stamps, deciding on where I want them and kind of how I want it to look. I'm going to be using VersaFine Onyx Black ink to do my stamping. I'm using my stamp stamping platform so that I can make sure that I can stamp it a couple times, especially with these larger images. I really want to make sure that I get a crisp, clean image. This is a super quick and easy card. It adjusts the stamping, a few embellishments here and there, and some Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen, but I think it turned out absolutely gorgeous. These papers just make it so easy to have an absolutely gorgeous background. and. They can be stamped on pretty easily and they retain the color of the stamping because like I said I like my blacks really really dark when I'm doing it and I'm just going to position in my sentiment and then I do end up putting another stamp on the bottom and then I'm using the little tiny single flower stamp a couple times on there. So while you're kind of watching me finish this part up of the stamping, I am going to let you know about our Facebook page for Fairy Stamper. You can come check out tons of inspiration there. There is a Fairy Stamper Hugs group as well. You can post things on there. You can also go to fairystamper.com where you can find all of these stamps and papers and they have lots of different stencils, a lot of different things that you can use. For your stamping, your card making, your journaling, your scrapbooking, there's just a lot of um, possibilities that you can go on there. And then finally with our Facebook page and our Instagram, there's a ton of inspiration, like I said, and how-tos, and a lot of good information that you can find on those things. So now I'm going to take that single stamp, and I went back and forth on whether I just wanted to stamp it singly without using the platform, because I kind of had to clean that off and move it each time, but I decided that I did not want to take the chance of messing it up, because I loved how this card turned out, and I don't want to waste my pattern paper if I don't need to. And there I just had something fall on my head from the top of my desk, so... That was fun. Kind of scared me a little bit. But like I said, once I finish up this flower, I am going to get some Spectrum Noir Sparkle. Uh, well, actually, I am going to tape this down first before I put anything else on there. And I'm just going to kind of center that, make sure I got it on there well. And then I am going to get my Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen and just put that in a few areas. And then I am also using some rhinestones that I put in the center of the single flowers. And that is just to give it a little bit more dimension on the card because this is a flat card. You know, I stamp directly onto the pattern paper and put the pattern paper directly onto the card base. So I wanted a little bit more dimension and these rhinestones worked perfectly with the colors that I had or the colors that are in the pattern paper and then like I said just to give it that little more sparkle and oomph for the card. But that is my card. I want to thank everybody. I hope everybody has a great day. Take care and see you next time.